Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. A quote from Arthur C. Clarke. Should you learn to code? The short answer is, the only way to know is to try it yourself. There are many experienced programmers who can certainly provide guidance, but I would argue that you need to experience the process of creating code for yourself to truly know if programming is for you. I believe there's never been a better time to become a programmer. It is a very exciting time indeed. We are witnessing an accelerated evolution in technology on an unprecedented scale. Artificial intelligence, 3D printing, blockchain, smart contracts, nanotechnology, internet of things, virtual reality, driverless vehicles, quantum computing, the list goes on. Change is already here, and a juggernaut of change is on its way. How or whether we adapt to this change is our individual choice to make. A paradigm shift is being accelerated in part by an abundance of free information and tools enabled by a rapidly expanding and advancing internet. The means of producing applications and systems to contribute to this technological revolution has never been more accessible. Capital outlay is no longer the barrier it once was. You are only limited by your level of education and imagination. And there are many free online resources that provide the means to educate yourself in ways unimaginable in the not too distant past. You only have to know where to look and be willing to apply yourself. And there are many free programming tools available, for example, Visual Studio Code, Visual Studio Community Edition, and many more. Perhaps you wish to create games, download Unity. A free version of this game's design and development platform is available. Leverage C Sharp or JavaScript to enhance and create sophisticated 3D games. Practice is the key. And life is a marathon and not a sprint. Set aside a small amount of time each day to practice programming at your own pace. Here's a quote from Steve Jobs. I think everybody in this country should learn how to program a computer, should learn a computer language, because it teaches you how to think. I view computer science as a liberal art. It should be something that everybody takes. Well, I would argue that everybody at the very least should give programming a try. All you need to get started is a decent computer and an internet connection. Programming is its own universe. Find out where you fit into that universe. Perhaps the first step is to ask yourself, what type of programmer would I like to be? Perhaps you are inclined to focus on user experience related software. You could perhaps become a front end developer and focus on learning technologies like HTML5, CSS, Bootstrap, JavaScript and related technologies, jQuery, TypeScript, Angular, React. There are many excellent free tutorials online that can instruct you and in how to program using these technologies. Perhaps you enjoy problem solving and working on complex logic and are less inclined to create user experience related components. You may want to focus on back-end programming. Fully object-oriented general-purpose programming languages like C-sharp, Java or C++ and many more are available to be explored. Learning one or more of these programming languages, coupled with a good knowledge of SQL structured query language, could perhaps be your focus. Perhaps you want to do it all and become a full-stack developer, both front-end and back-end programming. Perhaps you wish to specialize in mobile development. You could learn Java for Android platforms, learn Objective-C or Swift for iOS platforms, learn Xamarin and C-sharp for cross-platform programming. Extend your reach and learn to program for multiple heterogeneous devices distributed around the globe. Cloud-based technology enables computer power and storage facilities to be leveraged remotely. The cloud is generally made up of data centers, which are essentially facilities comprised of networked computers and storage. These are fully serviced facilities and infrastructural management and maintenance can be managed on your behalf. Infrastructure as a service, platform as a service, and software as a service are services that are typically offered. Microsoft Azure is one such cloud solution. Significant changes in requirements are changing the way technologists think about how applications are coded and systems are put together. Rapid evolution and innovations in technology is spawning vast new opportunities. A rapidly growing internet means huge amounts of data. Sophisticated algorithms and data structures coupled with microservice architecture can be applied to achieve optimal efficiency and stability. From monolithic to distributed, small, autonomous, distributed units of software, big data, billions of entities, shared perceptions, one rapidly evolving consciousness, data science, machine learning, 
decentralization. Empowerment not based on an individual's monetary worth, but on knowledge and creativity. The means of production is within your reach. Any sufficiently advanced technology is indistinguishable from magic. A quote from Arthur C. Clarke. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and giving it a thumbs up. Thank you and take care.